So in the last lecture, we discussed about how to explore in data and also the difference between descriptive statistics and inferential statistics. So now we're going to discuss about the parameter that we use to describe data. So as we've seen before, so this is a distribution of our data. So it's a distribution curve. So there's a several characteristics that we would like to describe from this kind of the distribution. So first is a center of tendency, dispersion. So the center of tendency is how, where is the center of the distribution of the data set? Okay, that means that the, the observation with the uh, value that is very common, okay, there's more abundance in the data. And also the dispersion, so how the data disperse, okay, along the S-axis or in different bins or different values. And also the shape, the shape of the distribution. So these are the three characteristics we would like to describe for the data. So now we have three different data set and each of these are the height measurement from students. Okay. So this is from different places, the student from different locations. Okay. And then for each of the location, we collect the data from 10,000 students. And after that, we just blot the histogram for each of these data set. Okay. So from here, we can see that the distribution pattern is very similar. Okay. So what is different is that the, the measurement of center of tendency is, is slightly different. So for example, we can see for Kampong A, so this is KG A, the center of the distribution, most of the data is concentrated here. Okay. For B, it's concentrated here. So it's, be, it's between value 164 to 166. On the A, it's 144 to 146. For C, it's between 184 to 186. So we can calculate the, the center. So the center is here. Okay. So we can know that the differences between different data set when we try to describe them, we can use the center of tendency. So where are the value concentrate? Okay. To show the difference or the similarity between different data set. And we also can see the density. Okay of the center of tendency. So one of the parameters that we use to measure the center of tendency, okay, is the mean. Another one is medium. Okay. We're going to discuss the calculation later. So first we want to understand the concept. So for central tendency, these are the two parameters that we use to uh, describe it. So we have a way to calculate a value, indicate the center of tendency. One is mean, another one is medium. So if you plot all the graph along the same axis, so we can see very clearly. So these are different, okay, in the center. So the first one is central tendency. The second one is a measure of dispersion. So in addition to the center of tendency, we can measure how the value disperse. Okay. From the center. Because this is the first one, first most obvious characteristic we can see the center. So the measure of dispersion is how much the data, okay, each of these data or all the data disperse from the center. So we can use a few measurements. So first is a range. Okay, so this is a range, variance, or standard deviation. So for example, now we have another two data set. So still the student body height, but from different locations. So this is location D and this is location E. So even though if you see the shape okay, of the histogram is very similar, but they are quite different from each other. So what you can see here is the, the center of the distribution is still around 165. Okay, for location E, also around 165. Okay, it's 165 between 16, 
0 to 167 is around 165. However, what we can see is that the range is different. Okay. The range is different. Okay. And also, the density of the center also different. Okay. So if we put it at the same scale, so let's say we plot our, our two data set. Okay, into a same scale. Okay, from S and Y axis, it should look something like this. Okay, the center is still one six five. Okay, however, you can see that the 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 density of the center is slightly different between this data set. Okay. So if you adjust the scale accordingly so this is 0 0.15 so it should be somewhere here okay so we, if if you scale the the graph accordingly according to the same scale that we use and also we have to standardize the s axis as well so make sure it's standardized so make sure the scale is the same so if you scale it accordingly okay just imagine we put these two two chart one two in the same axis then this is how the shape of the distribution look like. Okay, so the center is still the same, 165. Okay, so as you can see the difference is the, the dispersion. Okay, how the data disperse from the center. So if you put a different data set, so if you scale it properly, then you can see the different data set actually is slightly different in terms of their distributions. Okay. The range is can be different, the variance, and also the same division. So these are the measurements that we use to describe the dispersion. So the last parameter that we use is to describe the shape. So we have the distribution. So this is a normal distribution. Okay, so let's say the center is 165, so it's a mean or medium. So the first characteristic that we can use to describe the shape is a skewness. So in this case, we don't have a skewness. So you can see the pit of the curve is at the middle. So it's not skewed to the left or right. Okay. So we can have a distribution which is positively skewed. So you can see the pit is skewed to the right. So this is a positive side or negatively skewed. Okay. So we can describe the shape in terms of skewness. We also can describe the shape in terms of cryptosis. So the what we call the leptor cryptosis is the one is very narrow, okay. Another one is flat. So the curve is quite flat. So this is what we call the flatty cutis. However, um, as we discussed before, so here we will show you the distribution curve or histogram. So it's not a very efficient way to, to compare them side by side. Okay. So you can see it take out a lot of the space and it's not easy to make a histogram. So that's the reason why one way to, to compare different distribution is by using a box plot. So this is the same data set that you see just now. So we have location A, B, C, D, E. So you can see, you can describe it in a very meaningful way. So for example, I can see that the difference between A, B, C is the center of tendency. Okay. However, the center of tendency between B, D, E is the same. So the center is the same. Okay. So this is a medium, it's the same. However, the dispersion okay, is different. So you can measure the dispersion in terms of variance or standard deviation. The standard of tendency, we can measure as a mean or medium. So to calculate the mean, so this is a formula. Okay. So you don't have to memorize a formula. You just need to understand the concept of the mean. Then you should be able to calculate the mean without refer to the formula. 
for the measure of dispersion, so in this course we will focus in on variance and standard deviation. So standard deviation is just a square root of the variance. Okay, so this is a variance, so standard deviation is just a square root of the variance. 